Good Wednesday morning. I'm Kristen Straglitis with your morning update. One woman is recovering after being a victim of a hit and run on Paul and Division. Early yesterday morning, a lady from San Angelo was hit by one of two vehicles that were stolen overnight on the block of McGill. Police there were also saying six vehicles were broken into that night. Officials are asking for any security footage from the Paul Ann subdivision that could help track down the suspects from these series of incidents. Police are asking you not to leave any valuables in the car and to always keep your car door locked. City Council officials voted unanimously to approve the usage of city funds to assist in making improvements to the Border Patrol facility at the San Angelo Regional Airport. They are thinking the project will add employment and economic growth. The $1.1 million assistance from the city will mainly go to runway and dam drainage improvements, as well as equipment storage structures. This week at Central High School, SAISD is holding the fourth annual Engage Technology Conference. During the two-day workshop, participants learn how to transform their classrooms into engaging environments by, correct, by creating creative resources, content, and connecting with other educators. Sessions include topics like coding, digital safety and security, podcasting, and more. Anytime in your profession you want to sharpen your saw so you can be your best to give your best to those you serve. In education we serve our students and our families so this is an opportunity for them to learn to be even better so they're creating better learning conditions for the students. Educators. Educators who are integrating the technology into their classrooms will teach the majority of the sessions. And now let's see what's happening in the weather with Taban. Taban, how's it going? Well, you know, another hot day, really copying and pasting that forecast from yesterday. 100 degrees for your high here in San Angelo. Plenty of sunshine. That heat index value about 103 possible as we head towards the afternoon because of those winds out of the south, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, 75 degrees for your overnight low. Mostly clear skies. Still going to feel the heat tomorrow as well. Those winds out of the south to 20 miles per hour.